JT Comfer, welcome to the Toyota Game Recap. Look out! Nico <laughs> Rantanen, drink some water, bud. That whole bottle was full. I wonder he's dehydrated. Phil Grubauer, seventh shutout of the season, 30 wins on the season. It's just good. A lot of seasons going on. <laughs> <laughs> Season. <laughs> it's seasons. Uh, hi, everybody. Welcome to your Toyota uh, Game Recap. Kyle Keith, Mark Rycroft, late in the Altitude Studios. Let's do, a little, let's do a little JT. Let's do it. We like breaking down hat tricks, folks. His first of his career. Let's see how it all went down. And so far, slow folks. Look at Miko ranting in here. He's telling everybody, hey, I'm looking at the referee. I'm not looking right out of my right eyeball like JT Comfort. I don't want to give away what I'm doing. And look at old JT. Taking a page from one of the greatest scorers ever, Brett Hall, and just buries it upstairs. Love the flex on the stick. That was actually the toughest goal for him of the night. Watch this one. Devontae gets it from Comfort, then goes back to Comfort. Man, that's so much wide open net. I can't even believe. Yes, Kyle, I think you could score mm. that one. That's a beauty. Just pops it in. And then right here, we got, I mean, in the National Hockey League, they have a two on O, folks. Kyle, wow. are you ready? With wow. this much wow. speed. Wow. 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 That's a lot of room, folks. We did that just for Kyle because he wanted to be Darth Vader. And look at the play by Nachushkin. He's already backing up. Back over to Confer, and it's showtime. Top shelf where Mump keeps the wagon wheels. And look at this. Miko Renton has got the whole bottle. That's a first class $12 car wash at the gas station, soap included. We can see Landis Cog is a little late to the party, but he soaks him down the collar. And man, congratulations, JT Comfort, on your first ever National Hockey League. Patrick. Yeah, hey. with that we bring in Johnny Lyles, part Ooh, of the conversation. Yeah, Johnny, you there? Johnny, okay, there buddy. we are. Uh, still single barrel, or you going with triple barrel? <laughs> <laughs> Still single barrel, Kyle. Okay, all right. Yes. Um, Johnny, so we just heard from the head coach. They're going to go with Jonas Johansson. Still no Nathan McKinnon tomorrow, but you got Sammy G back. I personally think it's the right decision. Uh, Grubauer hasn't done back-to-back -back games this season. He's sticking with his guns. The defense only allowed 18 shots tonight. How do you feel? Well, I actually feel really good about it. And you said it, the defense only allowed 18 shots tonight. And worst case scenario is Philip Grubauer plays tomorrow and gets injured going into the playoffs. And that is the absolute worst case scenario for the Avalanche. So I like this decision by Jared Bednar. Yeah, I'm sure there are a lot of people that are going to question it. But you know what? The team played well, and if they are able to jump on the LA Kings early tomorrow, I think that uh, they have it in the bag. This Kings team will uh, will, will shut down and just uh, look forward to their summer vacation. Johnny, I don't know the last time it came down to the last game of the season for a team to win and get the President's Trophy. I'd say if they do win tomorrow, the Avalanche might even be barrel proof. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, explain yeah, that one to Kiefer. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, uh, there are so many dumb things in there. So I'm not even sure a, where to start. Go ahead. This, this is a tough one to answer, but I, I will say I, I can't remember the last time the President's Trophy did come, come down to the last game of the season. You always, you always see teams having to win their last game of the season to get into the playoffs, but actually being able to win the President's Trophy on the last game of the season is, is very unique and we're dealing with a unique season this year with uh, with everything related to COVID. So, you know what? It, it's kind of fitting, and uh, I'd love to see the Avs get it done tomorrow night and uh, have home ice for for, uh, for the playoffs and reward the Avalanche fans. Hey, do you guys know how many times the Avs have won the President's Trophy? Twice. What years? 2001, and I want to say 2003. 01, and Johnny? No idea. 97. 97. Yeah, I, I have that kind of stuff memorized. Or 97. It's not on my phone right here. I have that all just right in this massive brain. <sighs> here we go. It was not when I was on the team, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, standings right now, we know that Vegas, uh, basically they went to San Jose and said, you guys are surfing, dude. Oh, my God. They waxed them. They went 8-0. I can't believe Nothing. they went 8-0 against yeah, San Jose. It's crazy. They're at 82. But the good news is the Avalanche hold every tiebreaker over the Golden Knights. So they win tomorrow, it is over. It is over. We shall see. Join us on Altitude, six o'clock tomorrow. For Johnny Lyles, Mark Rycroft, and Kyle Keefe, we'll see ya.